Uh, okay, we're doing good. Peanut Park next. Both of them are gonna be secrets. I don't know what time we need for the Rico Harbor squid race. It's gonna be just a problem of continuously trying again and again until it works out. Uh, we have to do the beach secret first, right? Well, we don't have to. I mean, I'm just gonna do them in order the best I can. So we gotta fight Monty Mole before we do Yosh. I still legit don't know if that Yoshi can get a fruit here at all. It's so weird. Where, where did that bullet bill come from? No, in this game, it's not a bullet bill. It's a, like, Mickey missile. Damn, I thought that hit you. Can't have Goombas. We gotta have Stolen Zoos. I'm, like, throwing this... Oh, so poorly. Alright, reset. I think I made... Only, okay, I did hit you two times. Ah, the death. Oh, yeah, this is going to be fun, isn't it? This is one of those stages I forgot about, too. I wonder... These weird squares here, do they do anything? Like, if I stand on them... Bonus. Maybe, but... I just don't know. This is gonna be awful. How much time do I have? Also, I don't know where red coins are. I'm missing two. That, I think, is one. And there's the other one. I need to fucking... Come on. I need to wait for these to... Let's go, baby! First try... I'm kind of surprised that worked out so well because that looked like a mess and I definitely did not do that first part very, uh, very well, I guess. I'm kind of glad that I did start with the Chuckster one because despite, like, the annoyance of the one in the, the hotel, a lot of these are going pretty smooth. Famous last words as I go to Yoshi Carousel. I mean, I got, I, like, I completely forgot about the disappearing brick one. So I would have immediately said to you, nah, that sounds like a pain. The carousel, I think, kind of would be almost a similar issue, just with... A little bit easier control over which one you can actually get to. I'm assuming most of them are just going to be on the rotating blocks. If you don't remember, like, the carousel was just, like, clockwise and counterclockwise blocks. Like, getting rid of him was probably the best option. Get back here, booger! There I go. 
I like how Mario's like sweating when he picks up food. Nope. What the? What's with this egg? I don't care about it. Was this the color I needed? Didn't I go through like a whole. Oh. Apparently you can do that. So Yoshi does that with all enemies? Makes them into platforms? What is it? This one just makes small platforms? I just never, I guess, knew because there's not a lot of instances where you fight enemies with Yoshi. Why did I think I needed, like, a specific fruit to get Yoshi on the carousel? I think he wanted a coconut that time, too. Um, was one of these a one-up? I think it was only the one that's over there, wasn't it? I just wanted to make sure, because I am a little bit lower. If I can help it, I don't want to. Oh, look at that! Beautiful! Did I not know that one was there? Are these all going to be just in the, um... I mean, it worked out, but I was trying to go for this, if you couldn't tell. Uh oh Big mistake. I thought there would be a lot more platforms rotating along that. I also was kind of hoping that I could save it by, like, wall jumping for a bit. But I, I wouldn't be able to from a, uh, hover. Anyways, so I didn't see, um, are there red coins on the far end ones? It doesn't look like it. It looks like it's only in the centermost ones. Ah, the, uh... The backflip really botched my speed there. Actually, a lot of more past this point. Kind of forgot about the other cubes here. But the one up makes me happy. Wasn't sure if I'd make that. Take it slow here. Take it slow on the other one, I think. Although it would be very nice if I didn't have to take it slow. Yeah, I don't see anything else. That jump was a little awkward, but it worked out for some semblance of speed, I think. So that was only two. So like, the other six have to be around here, right? Why did I fall? So I could get back up. I'm only missing one. Was that it? If that's it up there, then that's this is a lot more straightforward than I thought it would be. Okay, Mario. If you say so. I mean, I say a lot more straightforward, but I'm kind of... ruining it right now. Okay, let's just do the wall jump here. Almost died trying to... Oh my god. Oh my god, Mario! Can I at least... I want to... Breathing exercises. 
There's nothing up there on that one moving platform. It would have been the last red coin. Oh my god, Mario. What happened? So that, that definitely should be the last one. That was awful. Like, that was just such a... That really upset me. That didn't feel like a me problem. That felt like a uh, Mario really doesn't feel like moving the way he should be moving right now problem. We had plenty of time. We were doing great. And Mario just said, nah, son. I ain't about that lifestyle. Might have been a mistake. I don't... Oh, I wasn't sure if I would land on a box there. Smart move to, uh... Jump on top of those. Almost a poor move doing anything else, though. Oh, okay. Climb up, Mario. Honestly, this might be the better option, is to get this one first. Was that so hard, Mario? It is when... Come on, get it, Mario. Mario, get it. Mario, thank you. I'm trying to play it safe, but then it got a little scary there. Look how easy. I got, oh, I just wasn't able to get on that platform and then I started panicking as I continued. Yeah, I'm really surprised that there weren't more red coins on the uh, rotating bit. I would have expected like one in each of those, uh, I, I guess the parts where they go under the wood blocks. But that worked out. We're done with Peanut Park. Besides coming back for other coin-related stuff. Uh, just in case for lives, there is one that we can get very easily right here I'm gonna grab. But I also think that we are pretty uh, good as far as the like more difficult secret stages to get to at this point. I guess the bigger issue would be the uh, squid one, but that's not even like a problem of getting there. Uh, yeah, we're going to Gelato Beach now. I really need to let the slide last longer. I keep wanting to like stop sliding immediately because I don't think it's gonna go like that much faster, and then it just blitz. I think one was like the first level here, wasn't it? Um... I could see this one being a little difficult. This was a lot of the uh, sand blocks. Oh uh, jeez, I don't- you know what? I don't remember how to get to the secret stage here. Admittedly, I also don't remember... Okay, I wasn't sure if this would be an issue. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, ho, ho, this tower enshrines the egg of the legendary sandbird. Actually, it not only holds the egg, it also keeps it warm. Which is important, because the egg is living, of course. You did see those gigantic mirrors, didn't you? They gather the sun's rays and reflect them out the tower. They've been doing that for over 100 years. Isn't that wild? What's even wilder is that the egg is almost ready to hatch. That's right, the legendary sandbird is almost here. Just thinking about witnessing such an event is a thrill. What a thrill. Pretty sure this is how we get into the secret stage, right? This would have been easier if I didn't try to aim. Right? This is the secret stage? Oh, uh, I guess I'm wrong. Hmm. I goofed it a little bit. 
Secret stage unlocked. This is kind of a wild one. I'm assuming based on the fact that we talked to someone that was able to tell us how to get the uh, secret shine in Pianta Park. Pianta Park. Pianta Village. That someone else would maybe hint that there's a secret shine in there. Probably the same with Noki Bay. I, there's not a lot of people in Noki Bay, but maybe someone would have mentioned the birds. But, uh... Yeah, that was one that I just ended up finding on my own again. Like, I'm pretty sure I found and did all the shrines as a kid. Sh shrines. Shrines as a kid, except for the blue coin ones, because it was just so many blue coins to try to collect, and not knowing exactly where they all are is frustrating, and made me give up instead of looking it up, so... Never ever 100% at this game. I'm kind of excited to play the squid bit. Uh, you guys leave, leave me alone. I don't even remember actually which one of these. Not that one. Yeah, you guys, I love you guys so much. I don't think it was this close. Oh, it was this close by. Okay. I gotta go fast. That's not going fast. Not fast enough. The sand castle, it's gone. So I think this is, seems like it's going to be a straightforward one, at least with locations. The good thing about this is it's a very small secret stage. So barring like a time limit that's very short, which I wouldn't be surprised about. Glad that's the one up. Um, I would hope it's straightforward, and it is a pretty short time limit, but they're giving us two right off the bat. I'd imagine most of them are going to be in the corners. I'm surprised I didn't miss that one. Go better, Mario. Mario, I said go better. I don't want to be up this one. I think they're just on these, yeah, these last corners here. Oh, Mario, get up. We don't have this much time to screw around, Mario. Easy. Yeah, it's basically what I expected from it. I'd imagine maybe because this is from an earlier stage, they wanted to make the red coins a little bit easier here. Damn, I missed it. Or it's just they couldn't really figure out how to get red coins on the sandcastle bit. Mario really was blinking, like, aggressively in that shine get scene. But we're already done with gelato. Now it's time to go to Rico. And then back to the beginning. That's right, the airstrip. Oh, I didn't realize that was a banana tree over there. Never paid attention to what was hiding in that tree. I don't think that's how banana trees look. I'm no treeologist though, so what do I know? Never look at Yoshi's fruit again. Uh, surfing safari. I did look into it, and I was right about the uh, green one has more control, and basically as long as you hold the stick up, you are going to have the same speed as you would with the other ones. So it is the best option. I'm also stealing this without asking the guy if I'm allowed. Because that's just how I roll. God, imagine using the squid to try to get all those coins up there. I actually almost jumped for that blue coin because it just was like looking at me. Go ahead and jump on it. I'm going to just try my best. 
We'll know if I do good if the, uh, the shine is golden and not transparent. Cut corners as much as I can. We want to try our best not to jump. Jumping slows us down. And doing that slows us down, too. But this, I think, will still be a better shortcut than... I don't think... I think I went slower than I did last time. Oh, but that's a shiny one, so I guess that was good enough. Pretty good, huh? You are the man! I'm so impressed that I want you to have one more of these. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know what the uh, time limit you're supposed to go for is, but that was easy. I, I think I mentioned it last time, but um, speedrun-wise for that, the best thing to do is to not get on the squid because you can uh, basically jump up to a, uh, like the top layer of the wall and then run into the checks that indicate that you have gone around the track. And it, it ends up a lot quicker. I know that was a terrible explanation, but I'm... I mean, listen. Look up speedruns of games. They're always fun and interesting. They got cool tech. It's wild seeing some of these things that happen. Speedruns are neat. You just don't understand. This is... A, how did I get up here before? Not this way. Okay. There, I I had a better time getting up here the first time. Now I'm just goofing up. I can't wall jump on this sign? Really? You refuse me? Okay. Let me just try going somewhere that might be easier, I suppose. I'm sure getting a rocket nozzle will help. Like, I, I did it without a rocket nozzle before. There's a turbo nozzle. I did figure out my uh, problem with these nozzles. Cool! Amazing. Um, You have to unlock the nozzle with one of the uh, visible ones in the stage before all of these uh, hologram ones unlock. Basically, it's like, uh, I don't know why I'm saying basically, like, there's a clearer explanation than that. Oh my god. What is wrong with me? I'll try a different way. That doesn't work either. Speaking about speedruns, my speedrun's doing pretty good so far. I think up here was how I did this the first time. And I really didn't think it would give me a, this much difficulty, but here we are. Okay, Mario, you can't you can't just grab that? Mario! Mario. This is one of my nozzles. Mario. Do you not know what one of my nozzles look like, Mario? This is your first time ever seeing it, Mario? Let me describe to you what this means, Mario. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm cool. Look how easy. Not losing my mind over here. Uh, this I can see being a problem, because I'm probably going to have to do, like, high jumps on these. Besides me uh, goofing up getting to this secret shine, it shouldn't be that difficult to get back here if I run out of lives. Okay, so that's four of them right there, easy enough to see and get. Okay, I'll take that. This angle is smooth. If 
feel like it's kind of a weird... There we go. I need to just do that. Side jump. This I can see killing me. Oh, there's a red coin here. We're running out of time. Also, oh, I see the coins. Okay. I was going to say I don't see all the coins, which is scary. I'm not going to waste time getting that one up. Good. Or was that last one, Mario? Mario, don't get stuck on things, Mario. Mario! Mario! Damn it, if I had just a second, but I screwed up my half... My I, Why do I keep calling it a half jump? I screwed up my side jump. We were so close. Well, if I didn't screw up the... Uh, the two wall jump ones, we would have had a smoother time. The main worry was I wasn't positive where all these were, so... I kind of jumped on that weird... Not jumped, but... I shouldn't have done that. Can't see. I can't really... Mm-hmm. Mario is not gonna make that. God damn it. God damn it. Really? Mario? Why did I make that so difficult for myself? This was not a good idea. Basically, at the same time frame that I was last time. Camera's getting a little wacky on me. Mario, you don't have to miss the coin. Go on, Mario. Hey, we didn't screw up that time. We were, like, actually, basically... ...where we were... ...the first time around. Wall jumps were surprisingly harder to, to deal with. I got a little scared there. I thought I was going to go into like a slide animation and I wouldn't be able to hover to recover. So, hover to recover. So I panicked for a minute. But yeah, the wall jumps just really screwed me up. Can't get a, like a decent angle on that. And if I screw up the half jump. There I go again. Half jump. I, it's not a half jump. This is pretty strong and should not be considered a half jump. But I keep wanting to call it that.